Hey you guys, Tiffany here from TiffanyJolly.com and I wanted to share a little message with you today and it has to do with the top five regrets of the dying and I know that sounds morbid but I have a really good point for you today. So there was a hospice nurse named Bronnie Ware and she wrote a book, Top Five Regrets of the Dying and uh, what happened in her journey is that as she was working with all of these patients that were dying and on their deathbed is the same regrets kept coming up. She was noticing themes and uh, so she decided to write a book about it and the number one regret is I wish that I would have had the courage to live a life that was true to myself, not the life that others expected of me. And the reason, the reason that I love this so much is because it is so incredibly close to my own core message, which is live the life, live the kick-ass life that your soul intended. And I could not agree with this more because honestly, I feel like we are not here to just pay bills and die. We're not here to just settle. We're not here to just go along with society and the status quo. I believe that, you know, we've got 7 billion people on this planet and you are unique. We're all unique. Everyone is unique. And I feel like it's crazy to think that there's not something special within you if there's 7 billion of us and we're all unique. So I believe that you came here with special gifts, special talents. There's a reason that certain things feel important to you. There's a reason that you get fired up over certain things. There's a reason that you get super excited about other things. And I believe that it's up to you to dive in, to discover your gifts, to discover your talents, to develop them, and then to share them with the world. I think that they're deeply needed. And I think when you do that, when you lead your life from a heart-centered place, from a passionate place, that's when you really start showing up in your life and having the courage to live the life that you actually want because you're going to be following what's really important to you, not what is important to somebody else. Because the last thing that I want to see for you is getting to the end of your life and being like, damn it, I didn't live a life true to myself. I didn't follow my dreams. I didn't follow my passions. I didn't follow what felt important to me. I didn't stand up. I didn't rise up. I didn't do the things that I know I came here to do. Wayne Dyer has a beautiful quote. It says, don't die with your music still inside of you. And I feel like that is so true. You have something inside of you that is special, that needs to be shared with the world. So that's my message to you today. I don't want you to be one of those people that are on your last days and you're saying, I have regrets. I have the same number one regret that all of these other people had, which is I didn't allow myself to have the courage to live a life that was true to myself. Okay? So don't, don't settle. Don't live a life that's expected of you. Live a life that feels good and right to you. And that's why I think it's so freaking important to be the leader of your own life. Yes, you can get outside guidance, support to help you on your journey, to help you on your path. God knows I've had so many people assist me on my own journey. But at the end of the day, I have to keep tapping into myself, what feels right, what feels important, what feels good, and keep going in that direction. I am so dedicated to living a life that's in alignment with my higher self, with my best self, that it's gotten me to here. And I think I'm at a really awesome place. I'm really excited about it. Yes, it has come with pain and obstacles and growth. Um, but that's the thing is growth typically is painful. So when you are going through those growing pains, know that you're on the right track and you're growing and evolving and going exactly where you're supposed to go. And it's going to allow you to look back and be like, guess what? I didn't settle. I lived a kick-ass life. I lived a life that was true to myself. So that's my message for you today. I know you can do it. It only takes one little baby step at a time. I promise you. So what's important to you? What are your gifts? What are your talents? How can you develop them? How can you start sharing them with the world? How can you start to live a life that you freaking love, that feels amazing? Start taking those steps. Remember, be the leader of your own life. I'll see you later. Bye.